Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So this is the last video of three videos. The first one was what's working now with Pinterest, how to make lots of pins. The second one was how to figure out which of your pins you should make more of. And this is how to use Tailwind to schedule your pins. Now, there are some gals who I like so much and they um, have said that manually pinning is the way to go. Now I, manually pinning meaning you pin to Pinterest directly and then you repin all your pins to Pinterest directly. Now I, um, I have three kids, three dogs, a dementia mom and all kinds of stuff that I have to do. So I cannot, and I am not a spreadsheet girl. Like I cannot put things in a spreadsheet and do them. I can put them in there, but I'm never going to do them. So I have to use a scheduling tool and I have found that it's working very well for me. I use Tailwind, which is an authorized partner of Pinterest. And I want to show you some of my results. So I got some sneaky behind the scenes news of what Pinterest wanted. And I started on uh, January, at the end of January, doing the system that I'm going to tell you about, um, where I'm repinning only the pins that are doing well. Imagine that. Um, so this is my page views have gone up 12%. This is my little site. Um, my sessions have gone up 11%. Um, and then my Tailwind Tribe sessions have gone up 41%. And my Smart Loop have gone up 26%. And Tailwind Tribe, I'm going to show you both of these, what they are. Um, and Smart Tailwind Tribes is where you get to post to different tribes that are relevant to your niche and then they post out and you post out and everybody gets a benefit from it right and then smart loop is where you're looping your own stuff over time so i'm going to show you both of those things how i use those now with the new pinterest and how it's making my numbers go up like this so last but not least whoo this is my third video i'm very excited about this obviously um so since I joined the tribes, I've had over 70 million reach. I can't get over 70 million reach myself. I have 2 million reach on all my pins every month, but there are just bigger pinners out there than me. Um, so this will show you what, what's been going on. So I shared six pins added, and then I got three repins from them. I shared six pins. I got 105 repins from them. Um, you know, it's not usually that big a number, but it's amazing when it is. And I'm just getting more repins because I'm making more pins, right? Um, the new way Pinterest suggests to do to do your Pinterest is to have lots of different pictures for each thing you're pinning. So if you're pinning a blog post, if you're pinning a, a product for your e-commerce store, no matter what you're doing, they want you to, they consider it new content when you're pinning different pictures to things. And I'll give you an example um, in a spreadsheet. Now that I've said I'm not a spreadsheet person, I can keep track of stuff on spreadsheets. I just can't work from them. So here is, um, here are, is this the Itchy Feets? Itchy Feets. Itchy Feets dogs. Hold on. So I made these new pins for the itchy paws. Now this one isn't doing very well. And I love beagles, but it's not doing very well. This one's doing very well. The, and see, I flipped the dog in this one and I put different text on it. So Pinterest considers that to be a different pin. And then the beagle just isn't doing anything. So, right, so now we have it. And I want to show you how I use Tailwind now because used to be what I did is I would make a pin, I would schedule, I would post it, I would post it to the all my boards, I would post it to all my tribes, and then I would loop it a couple months later, right? Every single pin. And what I found was doing that wasn't resulting in a ton of great, um, it was okay. It was okay. But it was kind of like I was spamming Pinterest, where now what I do is I figure out which of those pins people actually like even a little bit. I don't care if they if they just like them a little bit. 
I figure out which ones they actually like, and then I boost the ones with Tailwind that they actually like. So the way I figure this out is I go to my notifications tab and I come down to here, and I've already talked about this a little bit, but I have two pins that I save to do the work on, okay? Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, so this pin got one save and two link clicks with only 642 impressions. So I'm okay with that. I think that that is showing that there's some interest in that pin. There's a lot of pins that I pin that have zero reposts, zero clicks, nothing like that. And then I just let them die, right? Because I can make lots and lots of pins for them. So what I would do is I have the Tailwind on my Chrome and I'm going to say, and I always have to do this twice. I don't know why, except for today when I have people with me. So I have caregivers. I have a, a, a list of my boards. And so that's all it takes to do. Stop that. I'm trying to click that little X. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to schedule this out every eight days for the next whatever period of time, however many boards I have. I like to do optimized, and I'm just going to say set interval, set interval, but we want to remember 314 is the last number. You're going to have to remember it for me, 314. So now we're going to say set interval, and I'm going to add this pin to my tribes. Okay, and I have tribes that are directly related to my niche. So I have caregiving for aging parents is my very best tribe for my dementia people. Um, I have a couple of other really good ones, and then I have some niche boards. So I'm going to come up here to some of my niche boards, and they'll tell you when the last time you pinned it was. Let's see. Come on. Boop, boop. Last submitted five days ago. I can live with that. Three days ago. No. Eight months ago. All right. We'll put it in there. And then I want one more tribe. I like to do it to four tribes. And it's never been on this one. Okay. So we're going to add to four tribes. And I have the unlimited um, tailwind. And then I'm going to say schedule it. And I forgot the date already. The 12th, we're going to go the 12th. Schedule now. Okay. It's going slow because I have a billion tabs open and I'm doing a video. All right. So I need a way to remember this without a spreadsheet because I'm not a spreadsheet girl. So I use a um, extension on called our sticky notes on Chrome. And I'm going to say 2-11-2020 uh, added to caregiver boards and four tribes. Now, you may be the type of gal that likes to, um, the last date was 312. Now I'll tell you in a minute why I care about that. Um, you may be the kind of gal that actually like notes which tribes it goes on, things like that. What I do is I will, um, maybe about once a month, maybe once every two months, go through my tribes and see um, which of my pins, and I'll show you a really good one, which of my pins are actually doing better which types of pins actually do better on which tribes. So, and I kind of know this because I work in here a lot, um, but if you're just getting started with tribes, you may want to um, do a little bit more. But if I were to go to, what are they called? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. No, 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 no. Give me one second. Creative entrepreneurship. Okay. So these are my pins and the reshares that I've received on them. Okay. Meaning that somebody else has shared it someplace else. And I know that if I'm posting something about Etsy, I will, um, how many Etsy shop views? That's a good one. Um, 
Pinterest is good. Disney, Etsy products. Etsy. Shipping, Etsy, right? Etsy SEO. So if I have a Etsy post, I make sure that one of the four pin one of the four tribes I pin it to is that Creative Labs. Now you could pin it to a hundred tribes if you were willing to post out as much as you wanted to. But I tend to find that if I'm more selective and I pin it to fewer tribes that are really good, then I get a better benefit. Like my caregiver tribe is an amazing tribe for my um, dementia and Alzheimer's posts. Uh, I have crafty ones that are really good for my DIY stuff that I do. And so that's what that is. Now, that thing about, let me see. Yep, I can get out of there. That thing about the last date 312. What I will do is I will look, I then I just let this run, right? So. The first step was make a whole bunch of pins, see if anybody cares about them at all. If anybody cares about them at all, I put them on, I schedule them to go out onto my different boards that are relevant. I like to have four to five different relevant boards for each of my product or um, blog categories. Then if they are successful, after I have given them more of a chance than just pinning them on one board, then I will schedule them out on a loop, meaning that Tailwind is going to loop those out periodically for a long time. And I'm going to show you that too. But the reason why I care about 312 is I would then go to my schedule. If that, if that, this pin does well, I would copy this pin address. I would go to my schedule. I would go to the month. I go to March 12th. And then I go one month after it, and I would schedule it to loop. So I would say artsy fartsy looping. Uh, yelling at mom. And then I would put the note here. And then just on that day, I would go and uh, I would pin that. So I guess I just did that. It's fine. I did this for every every pin I ever used before. So adding it to one more right now isn't going to change anything. The thing that I, I really want you to understand is you really can't screw this up, right? If you're doing this genuinely, if you're trying to make pins to posts that people really do like, and you're scheduling them out and you're keeping them apart and you're posting them every eight days and you're posting them to appropriate boards, you're going to do well and you're not going to mess anything up. All right, now let's look at the looping because the reason why, I mean, this is crazy that my smart loop has gone up 26%. The reason why I think it's crazy is because I have deleted about a bajillion pins from my smart loop. Okay, excuse me one second. Oh, you got a treaty. Sorry, I got an old dog beside me. She's eating her treaty. Um, okay, this is loading. I'll have a sip. Okay, so this is going to sort your pins um, all different ways. So you could say the number of pins, published pins highest first, right? And it's going to sort them all, the ones that have been published the most. So this has been published 28 times. It's got 488 repins. This is the number that you want to look at, though, okay? The repins per pins. That is really good. So every time I pin that, I get 17 repins. This one isn't so good. Every time I repin this, I've published it 27 times. I've only gotten 10 repins, and it's less than a half a pin per pin. That's not good. This one isn't good. Answering the same questions over and over again. I have an amazing pin that is going nuts on this right now. Hold on, please. So this pin, which I can't see the, 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 the on pin stats for because somebody else pinned it, 
but that pin has gotten 4,300 impressions, 43,000 impressions, excuse me. And this poor thing, she just didn't do anything. So I'm just, remember, she's getting less than a half a pin. So we're just going to delete her. Okay. Now, you would think that with as easy, oh God, this is a bad one. So this poisoning yourself, natural cleaning alternatives, that one is not doing good at all. Although it did good before it was in looping, right? That's what really messed me up is I would have pins that I knew did well, either when they launched or somebody reshared them and they were doing great. But all that I care about now is that it's not doing well in my loops, right? I can make more pins for it. I can, oh, this is a terrible one. And I just made a whole bunch of pins for dealing with poop. Um, that's a terrible one. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Maybe they just don't like that nice elderly woman. Um, this one is a bad one. So we're gonna get rid of this one. And so I don't, like, I'm not going to delete all of my pins out of here, but what I do is I go through here. Now, this is almost one-to-one. -one. I'd probably leave that in here, right? We saw that earlier in one of the videos. It's doing okay. And then this guy's doing good. He's getting one and a half pins. Same type of look as the other one. You never know. That's the thing that's so weird. It's kind of like when you're writing blog posts and you... um write this blog post and you think, oh my gosh, this is the one. Everybody's going to love this blog post. And then wah, wah, wah. And then you write a blog post and you're like, I'm just throwing this up because I'm writing a blog post today in December and it turns out to be one of your best ones. That's what's happening when you're doing a, making a ton of Pinterest pins and then just waiting to see what Pinterest likes, what people like, what converts, what goes to your website. What gets lots of views, but no clicks? What gets lots of clicks, but no views? And then you can make decisions about whether to add it to Tailwind and to get it more in the, um, you know, schedule it to all your boards or put it in the looping or put it somewhere else. But you only do that once it has shown that it is a good pin wherever you're placing it. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.